What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House from the DCO commentary. Uh, I'm bringing you this commentary today. And let's talk about a little bit about some of the new PvP matches here um, in uh, DLC 4 that have hit. Uh, there's a lot of you might already know that uh, DLC 4 came early for everybody who is a subscribed member of the game, everybody who has legendary status um, with the uh, DCO. So we all, um, everybody has a thank you to all of us. The uh, devs went ahead and um, released it early for everybody. Uh, it will be available for everybody who's not subscribed and you want to purchase the DLC. You can do so on the 19th of June uh, from the PSN store or through the um, games marketplace. Uh, that being said, though, I've been having a lot of fun here, as you can see. Um, if you guys are uh, following me on Facebook or Twitter and all that, you know, I... You know, dress myself up as uh, Captain America here, running around with a spark, uh, or uh, with a spark shield right now. Um, I don't have a prime yet, prime weapon yet, and I haven't um, gotten a uh, one of the new PVP weapons yet. So I just went ahead. I had Mark saved up and uh, got the um, spark weapon from. Central City. Uh, so I can't really comment too much about you know how I feel about the shield. I mean I really do like the shield. I like the you know the you know nice fluid combos you can do with it. Um, you can just you know keep straining them along too, um, and kind of kind you and you can kind of strain different combos into it, um, depending on you know what buttons you push and everything like that. The block breaker though I'm really liking a lot. Uh, the animation is. Um, can be clipped very easily with the, uh, uh, you know, depending on which power you use. And uh, I'm really liking the block breaker a lot with this. This may end up being my new main uh, weapon. I'm not sure. I'm going to, when I get enough marks um, to uh, buy it, I'm going to get the uh, tier 4 PvP wep uh, shield weapon for this episode, I think. And uh, we'll test it out then. But. Until then, I can't really comment on the damage-wise because I do only have the spark, and I've been mostly been using my um, prime weapons, you know, either the brawling or the one-hander that I've received so far from uh, the prime rate, prime battleground rate. Uh, but I mean, so, so far, from what I can tell, I mean, I think you know the damage is going to be nice. Uh, it feels like brawling still, but with the uh, um, access of the you know a quick uh, block breaker like with martial arts um this right match right here uh going to talk about some of the strategies here with the new maps uh, these maps are definitely uh, aside from the pit which is obviously that is the team deathmatch map uh the rest of these maps are all objective based so is your get more guaranteed wins if you go to play the objective you see right here at the beginning of this match we were not playing the objective in here i think this is the very first uh pvp match i got into with a few guys from my league and we were not playing the objective you know obviously the objective here is to um neutralize uh, or tag the uh, bombs to be uh, transported and we were not doing that. We were going after the kills. Um, and, and as you can tell by the score, the villain's weakness. So uh, I, that's when I realized, I was like, okay, we got, we've got to start playing this objective here because kills only count for one point in these uh, arenas now. You know, captures or uh, you know, transporting the bomb or anything like that, um, those count for 200 points. So you get five captures, then you win the game you win the match so this one right here uh, you know like i said is a uh, bomb disposal um the other is the uh, the hostage rescue and the uh, graviton oh, emitters that you have to capture which well, that's a uh, capture the flag right there the uh, hostage rescue i mean it's basically kind of similar to um capture the flag but uh, Chaos will be tamed. it's not completely the same um, but definitely you want to um, be playing the objectives and all that, you know, unless you want to stay in this match for the full time period here uh, and do it and find out who has the most kills. I mean, I, I seriously doubt the way some of these matches go. I mean, the only one kill caught, you know, counting as uh, one point, you're not going to be getting many points at all in the game. So definitely want to play the objective on these maps. Um, 
what I suggest doing is, you know, and this is up, this is just me, especially in this scenario here where, uh, you know, you are, you know, putting on this armored suit to go and tag these bombs. But even with the uh, graviton emitters and the hostage rescue one, you want to um, try and uh, do this. This is the, this is the strategy I, I've come up with. You know, you guys may disagree with me or not, but um, so. You go into 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 these matches with a uh, set group, um, a group uh, that is balanced out. So you've got a tank, troller, DPS, and a healer. You suck. The DPS oh, should be the one carrying the emitters. You know, disposing of the bombs. Um, you know, actually, you know, taking care of the objectives in these matches. Simply because. Once you, you know, put on that armor or you're carrying the emitter or you're going around freeing hostages, you are locked out from being able to use anything in your loadout. I think the only thing you can actually use is the trinket. Um, and obviously with the, the bomb suit here, you know, you've got a completely different loadout. So as a tank, I would not be able to give out any kind of immunities to my group, you know, to debuff, remove debuffs off the healer. Um or anybody else in my group, I would not be able to, uh, you know, remove the controller's POT or uh, remove their shields. So if this isn't really um, one of those, these, these maps aren't really one of those kind of maps where you want to have the DPS going around trying to kill everything because, frankly, the point of the match, these matches aren't to go around and kill everything. So... <laughs> This is basically what you want to do. Right, right here, I'm chasing this guy down because he's still in his armored suit, and I know he's heading off to trying to find the next uh, bomb, uh, the next objective. So I'm trying to keep him from being able to do that. Uh, that is basically it as far as like any kind of strategy. You know, I mean, you know, making sure you know you got people you know from your team or escorting you around. It's always a good thing, especially when you're carrying the emitters because the you know. The, the people on the opposing team they will chase you down and try and knock especially with you know with the emitters and everything and the hostage rescue they will chase you down and try to uh stop you and steal the emitter or um the uh shield disruptor from you to keep you from freeing anybody or capturing the graviton emitter so you definitely want to make sure that you're escorting that person around and getting people off their back uh, that being said, you know, the arena champion boxes, you know, been dropping and everything. I have yet to get a nice weapon out of the, one of these things and it's really starting to frustrate me, but, uh, I'm going to use my replay badges that I've got my free ones that I've got until I get one or until I'm out, but then I'm not buying any, I'm not going to buy any more replay badges. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the description below. If you liked the video, please do so. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe until next time y'all take care. Bye.